everyone. This is Linnea Lucan, Research Fellow at the Heartland Institute's Arthur B. Robinson Center on Climate and Environmental Policy, here with another fact check based on our Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students book that you can find in print and online at climateataglance.com. This video examines hurricanes and their trends as the climate is changing. It's December, meaning the official Atlantic hurricane season, which runs from June through November, is now over. That doesn't mean that hurricanes don't sometimes occur outside of that period, but this is the time of year that we can typically look back over the season and see how it all played out. The U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, claims that 2023 ranked fourth for the most named storms in the Atlantic since 1950. The media likes to blame every busy hurricane year on human greenhouse gas emissions and their impact on climate, but a single intense year for hurricanes cannot be tied to climate change. Only trends indicating that hurricanes are becoming more frequent or severe over an extended period of time might show that climate change is worsening hurricane seasons. But the Heartland Institute shows in the booklet that I showed at the beginning, Climate at a Glance, that the long-term data does not show that hurricanes are increasing in number, frequency, or strength. Even the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change agrees, saying that it has low confidence that there is any detectable change in tropical cyclone activity that can be attributed to human influence. In fact, globally, the frequency of tropical cyclones has been seeing historic lows in recent decades. This might actually be part of the reason why people have the impression, after a relatively busy hurricane year like this one, that hurricanes are getting worse when they really aren't. From 2005 until 2017, the United States had zero Category 3 and above hurricanes that made landfall. Hurricanes are also not becoming stronger, contrary to media claims. Accumulated cyclone energy is the measurement of the energy released by a tropical cyclone. The stronger the storm, the higher the ACE. There is no increasing trend in global tropical cyclone energy. Any hurricane can be a danger to life and property, and people in areas prone to hurricanes should definitely prepare for them. But data refutes the idea that people and property are being threatened by hurricanes more now than they were in the past. The truth about hurricanes is far more complex and far less alarming than the news media and climate activists make it out to be. That's it for this quick fact check. For sources and for more data, please check out the Hurricanes page at climateataglance.com, where you can also get a digital copy of the book for download. Thanks for watching, everyone.